today we're going to show you a quick and easy upgrade that you can do to your sleeper that doesn't cost a lot of money and it's going to look really good. So we were strolling through Home Depot one day and we came across these smart tiles and we thought what better way than to use these to put a little personality into the sleeper, kind of give it an upgrade, a little more polished look. And the great thing with these is they're very lightweight. It's basically a peel and stick that looks like ceramic tile. So we picked these up and we're actually going to put these on the backsplash here. So we're going to do this whole back wall uh, um, where the countertop is. So these are, like I said, super easy. You don't need any special tools for these. Basically, all we're going to need is a pair of scissors and a utility knife. Now, we picked up, I believe, what did we get? About 15 of these. They come in single packs. I do think they sell them in multi-packs too, but when we, the Home Depot we picked these up from didn't have those. So I got 15. I kind of measured it and we should have some extra actually after we're done. So what we're going to do before we get started is we're going to clear off the countertop. We're going to have to take our TV down and then I'll show you how this vinyl back here comes off of the wall, which is going to be really easy to do. We're going to have to take the TV and the TV mount down so we can get all the vinyl off of the wall. The TV is just held up by three screws. There's going to be three screws, one here, one there one up there. But it should be pretty easy to get down. So Jason is just working on disconnecting all the wires from the TV and the TV mount. They have them zip tied to the mount so he's just cutting the zip ties so we can get those cables out of the way. We were using the electric screwdriver, which worked great on one screw. One screw. <laughs> but I think it wasn't long enough to yeah, fit. Yeah, yeah. So just a regular screwdriver will you'll be able to get the other ones. Voila! Look at that. The whole thing comes down. Very easy to do. Ooh, we need the dust, it looks like. <laughs> just a little. I need a bead. Alright, put that down. We've got our, our TV and TV mount off and we need to remove this uh, switch plate here. So let's do that really quickly. So there's not a lot you got to remove to do this guys. Just your TV and the switch plate and then we should be able to pull all of this vinyl down. We might have to unscrew that because it looks like that's screwed into that vinyl. Behind this vinyl is a metal piece. If you look here, you can see this metal. This vinyl, the only thing holding this vinyl is these little tabs that, that go into little holes in this metal. So we should be able to just pull this whole, all of this vinyl off of the metal. And the metal is what we're going to stick our tiles to. So let's give it a try here. I'm gonna start up here in the corner and it should just pop right off here. There we go. But yeah, see how that's just popping right off? Really easy. Takes a little bit of force. Oops, we might have to get the pliers on that one. A little bit of force to pull it. Come on, heat woman. <laughs> there we go. But you see how that's just popping off of there? Really easy. That's okay though. Look at that. One more and this one will be done. Oh, 
there we go. So one panel down, let's see. So there's the vinyl panel. These are the little tabs that go in these holes. These are just plastic tabs that go in these holes. And you can see some of the plastic tabs stuck in there. So we'll get some pliers and pull those out. Before we grab the pliers to get these little tabs out, we're gonna go ahead, we need to take this electric box off because it is screwed into where the vinyl is that we need to pull off. And now we should be able to just pull that vinyl piece right off. As you saw, when we pulled this piece off of this wall over here, there's cutouts where you can see the insulation and the cords and there's some, some bolts or rivets in here. So what I've decided to do, which I think is gonna make this easier, instead of sticking the tile here and having problems with it, I'm going to use the piece that came off and I'm going to actually tile this vinyl piece. I'm going to clean it really well and I'm going to do the tiles on the vinyl piece and then we'll put the vinyl piece back up where it where it came off of originally. But I am going to use the smart tiles and stick them directly to this metal because it should it'll be it'll be fine on this. Right, so now we've got everything down. We're going to clean. We want to clean the surface off really good. I'm just going to be cleaning this and then I'm going to clean the vinyl piece that we took off of this side. So I'm just going to use some rubbing alcohol and paper towels to do that. There may be something other that you can use, a cleaning solution, but I feel like rubbing alcohol usually cleans really well and is going to get anything off of there that might be sticky or gunky or oil or grease. Plus it dries really fast so you don't have to worry about a long dry time. So, and it's really, I mean, there's not really a lot of dirt and gunk on that because it has been pretty much covered with the other vinyl piece. Now I want to wipe down this vinyl piece and get it all cleaned. Now this vinyl piece is probably a lot dirtier than what this metal is just because it's been exposed and that metal hasn't. So I'm gonna make sure I clean and wipe it down really, really good with the rubbing alcohol. And you know, technically you could just do the tile on the back metal piece and not even worry about this vinyl piece, but I just think it's gonna look really nice to have the whole back wall done and all matching. So we're gonna let this dry really good. I've got my first tile. I'm gonna start up here in this corner. I've cut the tabs off. The side that I cut the tabs off, we're going to put along this side of the wall. Jason seems to think with we put it up here, we're gonna be able to use the utility knife and cut the hole out. Let's do it. Let's peel the backing off. All right, and you wanna be careful to try to not touch too much on the back side of the glue. We're gonna just get it lined up right with the metal right up top and to the side that looks even there we go all right so i'm just going to firmly press this on where the metal is trying not to press it too hard where that hole is because i don't want to mess that up There's a few air bubbles, so I'm just kind of working those out. Pressing it really good on the metal part. And I'm really working the edges too, because we don't want any air under there. Basically, we're gonna find the hole, the center area, stick the knife in, 
cut down until you reach that edge. You want to use a new blade when you're doing this too, so it's nice and sharp. Look at that. Looks good. Nice and trimmed out. So now we're going to continue going down here. So we got all of the cubbies done, so now we're just going to continue around the rest of the metal piece. And what we're going to do, if you see, I didn't cut the tabs off of these because they're actually going to overlap with these here. So you might have to go back around after you do your first cut just to make sure you get it perfectly lined up. Just to trim up any little extra pieces that you got here. They do sell different colors and designs of these smart tiles. So we just picked the, these this particular color and pattern because we felt like it matched all the other colors in the sleeper, the countertops, the fabric, all of that. Now this has holes in it too for the electrical box and the cords for the TV, but I'm going to go right over them. Actually, I'm going to start at the bottom because if there's any little gap at the top, that's fine because the TV is going to be hiding that. Now, one thing with this is this whole edge goes behind the lip of the flat edge where the window is. So if it's not perfectly aligned to this edge over here, that's fine. You're not even going to see it. I would rather have it aligned perfectly to the bottom part that you are going to see. I'll probably trim that up a little bit if it doesn't stay stuck to that edge. This is the finished product. Oh my gosh, I think it looks so good. It just dresses it up in here and just makes it look really, really nice. Now, the only thing we haven't done yet, we still got to put the TV mount and the TV back over here, which I will show you at the end, but I wanted to show you the full effect of it before we put that TV up and hid part of it. Let us know what you think down in the comments. This is so easy and so inexpensive. And I think we used 10 of these in total and they're about $9, I would say $10 with tax a piece. So for right about $100, it cost us to do this and a little bit of our time. And man, it makes a big difference. I really I like think it. it looks really yeah, nice. It really yeah, it does look good. Eh? Yeah gives it a nice homey feel. It does. It matches really good with all the colors. Yeah, it the, does. The, the, the it does. The countertop and the colors that Bolt put in. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Another thing I like about this is it's going to be really easy to wipe down and clean. 
just a kind of a plastic so it'll wipe up really easy if we have any you know grease splatter or anything like that leave us a comment down below letting us know what you think if you like this video and you think it looks awesome make sure to give it a thumbs up thank you so much for watching and subscribing and until our next video peace love and expediting